properties of exponents are really nice shortcuts to help you work with exponents. So, first, before we discover the properties, there's three of them, okay, um, we have to remember what exponents mean. When you say 7 to the fourth power, what is the real meaning of that? The meaning of that is 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Four of them. What's the meaning of 8 to the 5? to the fifth. That's eight times eight times eight times eight times eight. Okay, that's the meaning. Sometimes I say when we're doing this section, when in doubt, string it out. If I'm a little confused and, and not knowing what I'm doing, I can take this and string it out. When in doubt, string it out. That's very helpful. Okay, the first property has to do with multiplying. Okay, Multiplying. This says 5 to the 4th times 5 to the 5th. So we're multiplying. Okay? Now, this only works when you have the same base. This property is only for when you have the same base. Remember which part the base is? Right? The 5 is the base. When the bases are alike, you can do this. When the bases are not alike, you can't do it. It's impossible. But these bases are alike. Now, let's think what 5 to the 4th and 5 to the 5th means. Okay, because remember, when in doubt, string it out. 5 to the 4th means this. And then 5 to the 5th means this. So what I have, 5 to the 4th times 5 to the 5th, so basically, I need my other time sign there. So what is that? Well, it's 5 to the ninth. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of them. Now, I strung it out to show you how to do it. But if I was really working this problem, I would be like 4 plus 5 is 9. So the shortcut to multiply these powers is add the exponents. We're going to add the exponents. Because really, when you string this out and count them up, you have nine of them and they're all multiplied because powers is multiplying anyway. Okay, here's some more. 5 to the 8th times 5 to the 3rd. Well, that's 5 to the 11th. All I had to do was add my 8 and my 3. But remember, I'm multiplying. Adding is the shortcut because if you string it out and you have eight fives plus three more fives, that's going to be eleven fives altogether, but they're all multiplying. So even though I'm adding exponents, what I'm doing in reality is multiplying. The adding thing is a shortcut. Okay? Four to the ninth times four to the first. Ah, four is four to the first, isn't it? Isn't plain old 4 the same as 4 to the 1st? Yes, yeah, so you've got to remember there's really a 1 there. So that's going to be 4 to the 10th. What about 3 to the 3rd times 3 to the 2nd? Well, that's 3 to the 5th. What about 4 to the 1st times 5 to the 5th? It won't work. You're going to go, cannot combine, or if you want to abbreviate it to CC, that's fine with me. It can't work. Why not? They have to be the same base. Those are not the same base. Will not work. Cannot combine. When in doubt, string it out. Okay, here's the second property. Dividing powers. 10 to the 8th divided by 10 to the 5th. Now, Again, we have to have the same base for this to work. The same base. Which part is the base? The tens. Those are the same. Ten to the eighth divided by ten to the fifth. Okay, when in doubt, string it out. So that's ten times 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 ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
divided by 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Now, since I'm dividing and I have this fraction here, I think I'll cancel. A 10 will cancel with a 10. Won't those cancel? See them canceling? Canceling. What's left? 10 to the third. Where is it left at on top? 10 to the third. What's left on the bottom? Nothing, so you have to put a 1. So that's just 10 to the third. Could I have gotten that another way? Sure, I could have subtracted. The shortcut for this one is to subtract. Multiplying powers, the shortcut was add. Dividing powers, the shortcut is subtract. 8 minus 5. 10 to the third. Okay, let's try these. Remember, when in doubt, string it out. So that's two threes on top, one three on the bottom, cancel. That leaves you with three over one, which is three. Or you could just say two minus one, because that's a one, is one. So three to the first, or three. Look at this other one, four to the fifth, divided. Remember, we're dividing, even though we're subtracting for a shortcut. Four to the fifth, divided by four to the third. Five minus three is two. That's four to the second. Okay. The next one's really cool. Three minus five, what's that? Three minus five is negative two. So that's two to the negative two. Are we allowed to leave the negative? No. How do we get rid of negative exponents? We put the two down here, change it to positive, put the one over it, so that's your answer. Now, I realize none of these answers are all the way to the final form. Like, we didn't multiply our exponents out at all. We left it 4 to the second. We left it 2 to the second here. That's okay, because in this section on 4-3, they're teaching you the properties, and so they ask you to write your answer as the product of a power or the quotient of a power. When they say write your answer as a power, that means leave the exponent in. So all of these say write your answer as a power. That means leave it in exponential form. Writing it as a power and exponential form are the same thing. Okay, practice. See if you can get the answers to these. Leave them all in exponential form. The other way to say it is write them as a power. Okay, here's some answers. Check and see how you did. Number one, I just went two plus three is five, four to the fifth. Number two, I said four minus three is one, eight to the first, which is just eight. It would have been okay. If you put eight to the first, it would still be right. Number three, I said one plus two plus three is six. Number four, I said two minus four is negative two, so I need to put it on the bottom and change it to positive two and put one over it. Number five, I can't combine because they're not the same base. Here's your first part of video homework. Make sure you write your answers as powers or in exponential form, which means the same thing. Okay, now we're going to learn about the power of a power. This is our third property. Okay, this one always has a base raised to one power, and then it has a second power hanging around outside the parentheses. So it's very easy to recognize. This one, we're finally going to multiply. We're actually going to multiply our exponents. The answer to this is 7 to the 15th. Remember when in doubt, string it out? This one is quite interesting when you string it out because it's saying to take 7 to the 5th, which means 7 times 7 times 7 times 7, 5, whoops, writing a 5 instead of a 7. 
seven, five times and take that to the third power. So you would need three of those. So seven times 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 seven. See, there's three sets of them because it's this part means seven to the fifth. That's seven to the fifth power. And then seven to the fifth power to the third. So one, two, three groups of seven to the fifth. And when you count those up, you have 15, seven to the 15th. So you actually get to multiply this time. That's exciting. But it's kind of confusing because you have to remember that you don't actually multiply any exponents until you get to power of a power and there you multiply. When you're multiplying powers, you add. That's a shortcut. When you're dividing powers, you subtract. That's a shortcut. You don't actually multiply your exponents until you get to power of a power. Okay, here's some more examples of power of a power. Remember, one base, a power, and another power. One base, a power, and another power. That's what they look like. What you do to get the answer is multiply. So, 5 times 2 is 10, so this is 4 to the 10th. 3 times 4 is 12, so 5 to the 12th. 2 times 3 is 6, so 6 to the 6th. Negative 7 times negative 2, so 2 to the 14th, because negative times a negative is a positive. 7 times 2 is 14. And 4 times negative 2, that's 3 to the negative 8, because a negative times a positive is a negative. Then you're going to change that by taking the 3 downstairs, changing that to positive 8 and putting the 1 here. So that's the final answer on that one. Pretty cool. Here's your second part of video homework. Have a great evening.